In early September of 2013, five Katmais and three Carbon Cubs met up in the Utah backcountry for a backcountry flying adventure. They were joined by the staff from Plane and Pilot magazine, who were there to record the experience for an upcoming feature article. Temperatures were hot, with density altitudes approaching 9,000 feet, but everyone had a great time flying the beautiful and challenging Utah backcountry. The Katmai and the Carbon Cub represent the best in four- and two-seat stall aircraft, so it seemed natural for these two airplanes to team up for some backcountry excitement. The group started with a pilot briefing the night before and a quick follow-up the next morning before dawn. As always, safety was the key word, with the level of backcountry experience in the group ranging from novice to highly experienced, so the strips were carefully chosen and reviewed in detail. We visited strips like Caveman and marveled at all the hard work that has gone into this spectacular lodge. Many of the groups struck out on their own to visit various strips in the area, while Peterson and Warren went off to Happy Canyon for a photo shoot with the plane and pilot staff. Then we all met up at Fry Canyon for a quick hike down to a slot canyon where we enjoyed a close-up view of some well-preserved cliff dwellings. Following you guys, pretty much. Wherever that leads you. We too? did, from New Orleans. Had a great time. Good trip so far. Looking forward to having some fun today. Getting set up. Where are you going today? We are headed out to Tangrela, Caveman. And, uh, down the canyons to uh, the Monument Valley. There's going to be about five of us, or four, four, uh, four of the cat mice and uh, three carbon cubs. So I think that's it. Or there's five. That's eight. Eight total. Going today. I'm going flying down to Caveman, Mineral Canyon probably, and Monument Valley. That's the game plan I think at the moment. Yeah. What time is it? 7 a.m. <laughs> Sun's just coming up on the horizon. Should be a fun day. Once we get done in Happy Canyon, uh, then we can push on down south. So. All right, uh, caveman. It doesn't matter which way you land, or. Anything. I don't think so. Uh, probably wouldn't hurt if everybody get get the, the same direction. All right. Um, just Agreed. Re <laughs> reasonably flat strip, so. Okay. I, oh, and I think I guess we're the first ones going in. Cause I want to get some shots of everybody else coming in, so I think we're going to be the first ones in there. Okay, so I'll wait until you take off. Yeah, and, and I'll I'll be on 22-9 and 30-30 both. Okay. After caveman at group pictures, we're going to go to Mineral Canyon, end up at Happy Canyon, do a bunch of photo video work at Happy Canyon, and then I think from there we're pushing on down south to Fry Canyon, uh, go over and look at the uh, cliff dwellings, which is always kind of neat. From there we'll probably angle down towards Cow Black Airport, gas up if anybody needs it, end up at Monument Valley around noon for lunch at Goldings, and then work our way back probably mid-afternoon because it will be too hot to do any backcountry flying. Canyonlands traffic, uh, 759 Mike Uniform, uh, rolling into position for takeoff uh, 17.
Okay, 55. 55. 55. 55. Let's wait until they decide what they're going to do here. Uh, okay. Okay. That is cool shot. Quick group session. Everybody go over there. until after the fly-in here in October. So after that, then everything will be furnished, rooms will have new carpet, new paint job, so everything will be done, ready to go. Then you can start, we can start putting people in the room, renting them out. Perfect. Hey, I have a question for you. Go ahead. I took a, a picture inside the window of where the dog is. There's a pup up there. Yeah. I, I just held it up against the window and clicked. Is that okay? Yeah. Oh, okay. You could have went in the house and take pictures. Okay. There's, there's nothing locked yeah, around here. Yeah. It's a whole dry heat. Yep. It's a whole different game. Whatever works. Yeah. Yes, sir. Soft, solder and nail. Dry heat. I think I'm going to take off that away from there. We yeah, just, I imagine we just kind of, you know, we just got to pull them out in the order they're in. Okay. And uh, I don't know if we're all going to taxi down there and the guys in the end going to go first. Well, I, I think, think that we ought to let the, the, the Super Cubs could probably just go take yeah. off right here. We ought to just push back a little, let them bail out. Yeah, yeah, because they'll be slower. Yeah, get yeah. them out of here yeah. first. Yeah. It's not I taking off two zero straight out. It was fun. 
How was that? That was great. We've been to, uh, uh, landed at uh, Mineral Canyon. That was fun. And it was real in the deep in the canyon. And then we took off from there and went to uh, Angel Point and landed there. You have to go up over a big hump in the middle of the runway and took off out of there and then came here. So it was great. Super. Because he was yeah, afraid when we hit the hump, we'd get airborne premature. I mean, he, could, he nosed it down to where when we went over the hump, we had just enough airspeed once we crossed the top of the hump to take off. Huh. Up in the, up in the Use the, the hump as a catapult. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You know. At that point, the daytime temperatures were close to 100 degrees Fahrenheit. We headed off to the Cal Black Memorial Airport for fuel and then on to Monument Valley for lunch at Buildings Lodge. Small motor control. We could talk about the left finger and the right finger and the right hand. And we could talk about the left finger. Let's just talk about what happened. With the finger on the low boost pump. Yeah, there we go. Boost pump switch. Flooded it out. Yeah. Well, and I was running just fine. and. I'll tell you what I, I did is I, I turned it off. Turned the boost pump switch off? Yeah, the low boost pump off. Well, probably just loaded and quit anyway. Yeah. Probably. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's what happened. However, with the co pilot's help glare, glaring at me, uh, <laughs> I crossed my fingers on the left hand and yeah. kept it away from the boost pump. Did a flood and start? Yeah. Yeah. And it started. Well, we were behind. We, we were giving you moral support. Oh, you were the one yelling at. Yeah, we were. No, we were yelling at. Yeah. <laughs> we were yelling silently. Yeah, we were, yeah. We were giving you moral you support. Yeah, it's going like stars. Star, I want to get the heck out of here. So it's not just kids. It's adults too. <laughs> look at For a this. long time. Look, look at this. Oh. Yeah. This is what real men do at lunch. This is what men, real men do at lunch? Yeah. Oh, okay, well. Yeah, lots of you got, good pictures. But you got it. You, got it. Out the folks, you, know? you have to understand Share the websites we look at. You've got to appreciate this. Is, this, is, this is what I'm doing. Oh, wow. Look at that. The dog under there. See the dog sitting under there? I see the dog. Who is this guy? I have no clue. Jay, is that looks like, looks like a new neighbor? Oh, my God. So we need to get a I recognize him from the brace. Look at this. Who would have thunk?
Following a great meal, we headed back to Moab to call it a day. After cleaning all the dust off and cooling down, it was time to visit the local tavern for some more socializing before we turned in. Great airplanes and great people in the backcountry made this adventure something to remember. Be sure to check out more adventure videos and pictures at catmy-260se.com. individually. So I can see us messing around with this photo session for an hour and a half before we take off. And then at that point, uh, yeah, we can make that. I'm, I'm going to try to call them tomorrow.